stepwise. I like to live dangerously. Cynthia Rothrock is a martial artist and American actress. She received the unofficial title of Queen of Martial Arts and is remembered by fans of the genre as one of the few strong women in cinema. Watch this video to find out how the celebrity lives now. Cynthia Rothrock, where is the Queen of Martial Arts now? Cynthia Ann Christine was born on March 8, 1957 in Wilmington, Delaware. Then she moved with her parents to Scranton, Pennsylvania and spent all her childhood there. She was the only child in the family of Edward and Ann Markowski. At the age of 13, Cynthia saw her friend's parents training in the Korean martial art, Tang Soo Do. She was fascinated by the smoothness and power of the movements and the curious Cynthia decided to also master the martial arts. At first, she had difficulties with training. Besides, she was the only girl in the class, so she wanted to quit after the third lesson. But the lessons were paid for four months in advance, and the mother told her to continue. The coach helped her to change her attitude towards training. He explained that one can't succeed by giving up. So the girl changed her attitude and began to train hard. In the first test fight, she won against an opponent who had a black belt in karate and then she took second place in her competition among women. In an interview, Rothrock said that she entered Boston University to study art, but decided to focus on martial arts and opened several schools in California. This decision, of course, greatly alarmed her parents, but further success convinced them that their daughter's decisions were correct. In the late 1970s, the girl married her Kung Fu instructor, Ernest Rothrock, but their marriage later fell apart. In 1981 to 1985, Cynthia became a five-time world champion in martial arts demonstration and still holds the record for the number of titles. She also became the first and only woman to win a weapon handling competition. These tournaments were open to both genders as they demonstrate smoothness of movements rather than fighting. She's the holder of five black belts in Korean and Chinese martial arts and an eighth dan grand master in Tang Soo Do. She has also mastered a variety of weapons. In 1983, Rothrock was inducted into the Black Belt Magazine's Hall of Fame as Athlete of the Year and became the first woman to appear on the cover of a martial arts magazine. She was invited to appear in a KFC commercial and then Cynthia took part in a casting organized by the Hong Kong film company Golden Harvest. Asian filmmakers were initially looking for a guy, the next Bruce Lee, but then they saw what Rothrock was capable of. Their plans changed dramatically. Cynthia's first film was the action movie Yes Madam, released in 1985. The aspiring actress was supposed to speak her lines in Chinese, but since she didn't know the language, she was allowed to speak in English. After all, the sound wasn't recorded on the set, it was voiced later in the studio. In one of the battle scenes, Rothrock had to perform a leg split up along the wall. One leg stood on a small ledge, the other was pressed vertically against the wall, and the torso was pulled at the wall with thin ropes. At some point, the shooting had to be paused, and Cynthia stood there in this position for an hour. Because she was afraid to seem weak, she didn't ask the crew to put her down. The first experience of filming in an action movie also taught Rothrock to always wear protective shields, since the whole body was bruised without them. But the bruises weren't the biggest problem. In one scene, she got hit on the nose with a sword, and after another strong punch, her ear started bleeding. All the efforts were rewarded as the film was hugely popular in Hong Kong and broke all box office records. This dramatically changed the biography of the American. She became the first woman from the West to star in a Hong Kong action movies. Soon her filmography was enhanced by such pictures as 24 Hours to Midnight, Millionaire's Express, and The Magic Crystal. She was even offered the role of Jackie Chan's opponent in Armor of God, but he got injured, so the film company gave Rothrock a role in a different movie, Righting Wrongs. Attempted murder, kidnapping, and... And what? Is there more? Hmm. <clears throat> and looking ugly. Jackie Chan, by the way, was Cynthia's idol. When she was 20 years old, she used to visit the nearest cinema in Chinatown 
after training to watch his movies again and again. In 1986, Cynthia wrote a book on kicking techniques with George Chang. In 1987, the actress starred in the films No Retreat, No Surrender 2, and Fight to Win. And in the next year, 1988, the action movie The Inspector Wears Skirts was released. It's about the female squad of police academy graduates saving their male colleagues who had become the hostages of bad guys. <laughs> Nineteen eighty nine saw the release of City Cops and the action comedy Writing Wrongs Two Blonde Fury. Ha, I told you not to fight with your fists. Use weapons. Now just look at the state you're in. So what about you, lady? You want to try my kung fu? Of course I want to try it, you piece of shit. The latter was the most difficult for Rothrock in terms of stunts. She had to jump from the height of the second floor wearing heels, hang upside down on a truck moving at full speed, and fight wearing a dress. In this film, one can notice that the actress's haircut changes. The director decided to complete several scenes after the main shooting was over, and Cynthia was already working on another picture. In 1990, Cynthia Rothrock appeared in the fantasy action movie Prince of the Sun and the action movie China O'Brien. After that, the American stage of her career began. She returned to America as one of the most famous actresses in Hong Kong cinema. Over the next few years, the actress starred in the films Martial Law and Martial Law 2, Angel of Fury, Fast Getaway, Rage and Honor, Tiger Claws, and Lady Dragon. I love it, Grandfather. Thank you so much. When will you go? I'm afraid I have to leave today. Will we ever see you again? Of course you will. In 1992, in the wake of the success of martial arts movies, the game Mortal Kombat was released and Cynthia Rothrock became the prototype for Sonya Blade. But the creators of the video game didn't officially work with the actress since they didn't want to pay her. Cynthia didn't like this but decided not to go to court, only saying that it was unfair use of her talent. 1993 was a fruitful year for Rothrock, who was filming on two continents at once. Her filmography expanded to include Honor and Glory, Irresistible Force, Rage and Honor 2, Undefeatable, Angel the Kickboxer, and Lady Dragon 2. In 1994, Cynthia starred in Fast Getaway 2 and Guardian Angel. She appeared in the latter as the bodyguard of a young millionaire. So have you seen her recently? What's a bitch? Why don't you just get the hell out of here? I like it when you talk nasty to me. In 1995, the adventure series Hercules, The Legendary Journeys was launched, where Rothrock played one of the minions of the goddess Hera. Kung Fu Queen appeared in thrillers Eye for an Eye, Fatal Passion, and Night Vision. Action movies Tiger Claws 2, Sworn to Justice, and Checkmate. In 1999, Cynthia gave birth to a daughter, Skylar Sophia Rothrock. The baby's father is lawyer Daniel J. Botch, but after some time their marriage broke up. Skylar followed in her mother's footsteps and began to show interest in training at the age of 10, and now she helps to teach martial arts classes. The third part of the Tiger Claw series was released in 2000. Cynthia appeared in the American action movie Outside the Law in 2001, and in the film Redemption in 2002. Rothrock's next film, Extreme Fighter, was released in January 2005, after which she focused on teaching martial arts at her studio in the Los Angeles area of Studio City. Cynthia returned to the cinema in 2012, starring in the family fantasy Santa's Summer House, and appeared in the action movie Mercenaries in 2014. The president's daughter was kidnapped by an Amazonian she-bitch. Meanwhile, she was honored with the Heritage Award at the Urban Action Showcase and Expo on HBO. In 2016, she appeared in the Russian-American movie Showdown in Manila. You know the Three Stooges, right? <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few of their films. I see you're still getting your butt kicked. And I see you still making me when I do hands. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you too. The film flopped at the box office and received negative reviews from the audience, even though it starred many action movie stars of the 80s and 90s. In the same year, Cynthia Rothrock became the first martial artist to be inducted into the prestigious International Sports Hall of Fame. 
In recent years, Cynthia has traveled the world, teaching martial arts in the suburbs of Los Angeles, commenting on martial arts competitions, and conducting workshops on kung fu practice. In 2020, the Martial Arts Association awarded Cynthia Rothrock the Lifetime Achievement Award for promoting martial arts worldwide through the media. Rothrock didn't give up her acting career and is now engaged in several film projects. She always chooses roles where she is not represented as a victim. Cynthia believes women are strong enough to defend themselves on their own. By the way, she performs almost all complex stunts on the set herself. Rothrock's signature kick, demonstrating her flexibility, is a heel kick to the opponent's forehead when grabbed from the front. The actress's fortune is estimated at $5 million. She lives in the company of her dogs in a house bought with her second husband near Los Angeles in 1997. The two-story mansion with an area of almost 240 square yards has several rooms and a swimming pool. The interior is dominated by white, contrasting with dark wooden furniture. But most importantly, any corner of the house becomes a gym for Rothrock, which she demonstrates in the photo on her Instagram. According to some reports, Cynthia prefers the Porsche Boxster 981. Cynthia broke all stereotypes about women in action films playing only the role of decoration. She became a role model for women in martial arts and cinema. And more girls who wanted to be like their favorite actress began taking martial arts classes. Which movie starring Cynthia Rothrock is your favorite? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.